Let's talk birth control. A lot of options available when you go see your doctor. But now women are actually turning to more natural methods using herbal birth controls. And these DIY birth control, they use oils, they use herbs. A lot of online blogs promote these. Online outlets claim that these products work and they obviously sell them like hotcakes. And there's a couple in particular. So what's up with this Queen Anne's lace? So that's a flower, right? It's a flower. It's, it grows in the United States and in other parts of the world. Um, and it's used for a lot of women as emergency contraception. So if they have unprotected intercourse, then they will chew these seeds for the next week. And they say that chewing the seeds will impact the uterine lining and it will make it so the, a that a fertilized egg won't be able to easily implant into the uterus. So they, they're saying that's how it works. Is now, there science to back that up? We don't have adequate studies to back that up. And of course, we always worry about the safety of these things as well. Well, yeah, exactly. I got to tell you, if you're taking a seed and, number one, you don't know the dosage, you don't nope. know the potential side effects, nope. and if it even theoretically is working appropriately and it's preventing implantation in the uterus, it's a powerful seed. Uh, yeah. I, I'm sorry, but if I eat yeah. a few of these seeds and it's affecting my uterus in that way, I, I, I would be extremely wary. I mean, number number one, maybe the worst case scenario is you get pregnant. Number it two, who knows the other potential side what, effects? Well, what's the effect the baby. on the fetus? You know, we don't know. So, so that's the thing. We don't know. And plus, like I said, we don't know exactly how effective it is. And that's when you take orally, right? This is yes. neem oil, and people are using this as a DIY spermicide. Yes, so they basically will apply it to the inside of the vagina before sex. The issue with this is, of course, we don't have the research to back it up, and we we can't say that this it's is It's a safe. little funky, isn't it? I heard it smells. How does it smell? Oh, my Let me smell it. Lord. Let me smell it. Really? Oh, oh, no. I'm going to, as Nobody's a non-OBGYN, I'm taking on that. my doctor hat. Women, I would not mm. put this in your vagina. I, no, don't put it in your vagina. <laughs> No. <laughs> Your vagina will never smell the same. It, you don't mind that? Well, I'm trying to figure out what it smells like. Yeah. A vagina like that's broken if you put it in your vagina. <laughs> it smells really bad. And it's they kind of almost a little bit like a, a rusty or musty smell. Yeah, and then they tested it. But they oil. tested it. They tested it on rats. They didn't even test it on humans to make sure it was safe. What is neem oil? Where'd it come from? This is the Azadiracta indica seed. So if you don't want to use hormonal birth control, we have other options. Don't yeah. offer these herbal supplements because number one, you might get pregnant, and number two, we don't know if they're safe. So just make sure you are talking to us. If you do choose to do these things, make sure you tell your doctor you're doing them, and also make sure you take your prenatal vitamins with folic acid because I can't tell you that this is for sure effective. And I know that birth control pills aren't for every woman, and that, that's an issue. IUD is a great option. And we have non a non-hormonal IUD. And of course, there are risks and benefits to everything. So some people, even with a non-hormonal IUD, they may say we don't really like the bleeding profile or anything like that. But we have other options as well. You just want to be safe. That's why we have we're doctors out there who spend their entire so. career specializing in this. That's, That's why I like to ask the OBGYN.